Introduction to Area Look at this cake. It has a round surface at the top, a round surface at the bottom, and a curved surface in between. Let's look at the top of the cake. This top surface that is iced, the amount of surface that it has is called the area. Let's look at this shape. The total of the edges, as you know, is called the perimeter. The amount of surface that it has, that I have shaded here, that is called area. Let's shade the area of this triangle. The whole surface is called the area. And this circle. Let's pretend it's the cake and let's shade the area, just like when I iced the cake. There we go. Notice that all of the shapes are joined by their outside edge. If the shape looks like this, it's not really a shape, is it? We can't say that it has an area. There is no one full surface. That's just called an open curve. It has no full surface. It's an open curve. Let's look at the area of these three circles and see if you can guess which one has the greatest surface or which one has the greatest area. Did you say this one? Well done. What about these three squares? They are a little bit more difficult to compare because they're getting closer in area. So one way I could compare their area is to place something over the top of each one, like a piece of paper or cellophane. I've placed a piece of green cellophane over the first square. I've placed the same size piece of cellophane over the second square. And now the third square. The pieces of green cellophane are all the same size. So let's have a look at how well they cover up each square. Well the first square is completely covered by the cellophane and there is a little bit of cellophane overhanging on the left and of the right. Look at the middle square. There's a bit more cellophane overhanging that square, isn't there? So that square's area must be smaller. Look at the last square, or the square on our right. The piece of cellophane isn't big enough to cover it, is it? There is still some of the square sticking out underneath. So that means that the biggest square, or the one with the most amount of area, is this third square, the one on our right. So the last square has the greatest area. Another way we could compare area is by placing smaller shapes on the larger shapes to see which shape has the greatest or the largest area. Which of these shapes has the greatest area? Well, have a good look at them. We could place squares over the top of these again, but it might be a bit tricky, especially on the star. We can use anything to cover them. I could even use something like buttons. However, it wouldn't cover all the shape because round buttons would leave gaps, wouldn't they? So I'm going to use small triangles to test the area of each of these shapes. Let's count how many of the small pink triangles fit on the large blue triangle. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It took sixteen small triangles and the triangles fit together without gaps, so it truly shows the area. 
Let's count how many triangles it would take to cover the yellow star. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve small triangles covered the yellow star. So, so far, we have the triangle, the blue triangle, that took 16 small triangles and the star took 12. So out of the, those two, which one has the greatest area? The triangle, that's right, because it took 16 small triangles. The star only took 12. Let's now go to the green rectangle. One, two, three, Four. Now this one doesn't fit exactly on this way, so I'm going to turn it around like that. That makes four. And when I keep counting, I get up to 18 full pink triangles, but there are still some gaps on the sides of the rectangle. So what do we do about that? Well, we take one of our triangles and cut it in half, like this. So now we can place the half triangles in those gaps. So we were up to 18. If we put this one here, that would make 18 and a half. If we put this here, it would make 19. Let's cut another one. Put half of it here, that makes 19 and a half. This one will fit in here, we just have to flip it over, like this. That makes 20, and then we have another one we've cut in half. Flip and put that one there, that's 20 and a half. And the last one should go in that top right hand corner, if we flip it over, 21. So it took 21 small triangles to cover the rectangle, even though we had to cut three of those triangles in half and use half pieces. We still used 21 small triangles altogether. So which shape has the greatest area? The triangle took 16 small triangles, the star took 12 small triangles, and the green rectangle took 21 small triangles to cover. So that means that the rectangle, the green rectangle, definitely had the greater area.